Hi Aries, welcome to Angel Love uh, 333. I hope you're all doing well. A uh, couple things here before we start your reading. If you're new to my channel, uh, everything you need to know is in the description box. I have opened up personal readings again, so details are below on how to contact me, uh, along with everything else on my channel. I am uh, starting to do uh, giveaways monthly uh, for personal readings. Uh, if you'd like to enter for the giveaway, you just need to subscribe. If you're not subscribed, like and leave a comment. I will pick a winner each month uh, and we'll announce the winner the first week of each month. Okay, so good luck Aries if you like to enter and with that let's get started here with your reading. What's the energy here for Aries? What does Aries need to know? Okay, all right, so we have the Empress. We have the Seven of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands, and the Page of Swords, okay. And the Four of Swords, okay. So there's definitely an energy here, uh, Aries. I wanna say also, that roles can be reversed here, so take it how it resonates for you, okay? I see you spending some time alone. I feel like there is definitely somebody here that you're thinking about. I feel someone is thinking about you as well, okay? <clears throat> we got this page of swords. Somebody here is very curious, I feel here, what you're up to. You have the Knight of Wands here, you have the Seven of Pentacles, and you have the Empress. Now, for some of you, I feel like this could also be, right, maybe you've been single a while. Maybe you don't have a specific person on your mind, okay? If that is your story here, I feel like there is somebody here who is interested in you. They're not letting on yet. They're kind of mulling it over as well as the energy that I get. They see the potential. They see you as an Empress, okay? And it's not about male or female. It's about the energy. They see the potential with you, all right? They see someone that they could invest uh, their time and energy with, all right? Now, this could be somebody that you know or somebody uh, new, but I feel there's somebody here that's very, very curious about you. They may even be doing some spying on you or they're trying to figure you out is the energy that I got there. Now, we have strong Libra energy. We also have here uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Uh, your energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We also have here Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So let's see what else uh, the energy shows here for you, Aries. Okay. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> Aries, look at that. We got an emperor and an empress. We have a couple there. Okay. Again, it's not about male or female. It's about the energy. Uh, either you've met your match or you're going to meet your match. Really nice energy there. Okay, very uh, comparable, compatible energy. The Hermit. All right, yeah, this person's planning their next move towards you. With the Hermit, this is someone here who spends a lot of time thinking, right? They do a lot of alone thinking here. So I feel like, and this is your energy too, Aries, I'm going to say here. But I feel like you got somebody here. It could be another Aries. Um, but I feel like you got somebody here who's, who's spending a lot of time thinking here. Okay, let's see what else comes out here. Page of Cups. Yeah, this is this is someone who's planning their next next move. They're planning um, to reach out to you. This person wants to connect. They have genuine uh, interest, or I'm going to say genuine feelings for you. It could be somebody even a little bit younger or has a youthful energy about them. Uh, about them, I feel like this is somebody who's very passionate creative um i'm getting also a spot uh, a spontaneous energy with this person okay let's pull another card here for you aries 
Nine of Pentacles, really nice. So this person I feel is very curious about you. They see you as somebody, um, again, like a very inspirational, peaceful energy about you. They may see you as very confident. Um, it may see you as very motivational or motivated by you. There's definitely a really nice energy, attractive energy, grounded energy. Okay, look at that. The Hierophant. Oh my gosh, Aries. I feel like this is someone you could marry because you got the Hierophant, the Emperor, and the Empress. This is a divine love, I'm going to say. This is a divine partner here. Okay, so this person, their higher self is telling them that they gotta make some sort of move towards you. This is nice energy, Aries. You're, you have the best reading so far, I'm going to say. <laughs> okay, eight of cups, eight of cups here. This person's thinking about the possibilities here, right? They see the sunset uh, in the, the, the distance, the horizon there. They're searching for the possibilities here, I feel. Okay, now for some of you, if this is somebody that you're wanting to reconnect with, could be somebody who walked away, right, in the connection, and they're seriously thinking about this. Five of Pentacles, okay. I feel like your person, um, this one wants to come out too, let's see what's there. Yeah, Five of Pentacles and Two of Pentacles there. I feel like you've got somebody here who's a little bit insecure. Now, for some of you, I'm going to say, if this is a situation where this person walked away from you in a connection, okay, I get that too for some of you. This is somebody here who may have been wishy-washy, couldn't make up their mind in the past, uh, you know, kind of feeling left out in the cold here. But for a lot of you, I feel like this is just somebody who um, they feel a bit insecure. That's why I feel like the gesture, they're planning their next move. They're planning what they're going to say. They're going to do some sort of small gesture, probably some sort of message, or they may flirt with you. They're going to do something here. Um, because I feel like this person, even though they're coming across here as an emperor or an empress, <clears throat> uh, very successful, there's something here they're having doubts about. Okay, let's see what we got here. Five of Wands. Okay. I feel like they may feel, they're checking you out, okay? They may feel that there could be somebody else in the picture, or maybe there's competition. So I feel like this person here, that's why they're doing some spying here, okay? They're really trying to, try to, um, I'm hearing like, um, gain a full picture of what your life is like, who's in it. Uh, that's why there's, there's spying here, okay? You got the Six of Cups below here. Okay, so somebody, some of you, if you know this person, you've made memories with this person, this person misses you, they're not too sure what you're up to, who you're seeing, what you're doing here, trying to figure it out, okay? Um, I feel that for others, this is somebody new in your life, and they, they want to be sure, they want to be clear here that you're available is the energy that I got there, okay? What else can you show Aries here about this situation? Nine of Cups, Six of Pentacles, Five of Cups. What is that Five of Cups here, please? Ten of Swords, okay. Bond with the deck here, Page of Pentacles, okay. So we got two pages here. <clears throat> it's making things interesting. <laughs> All right. Some of you may be hoping to hear from somebody, okay? I feel like, you know, that's going to happen here. But I also get the energy there could be somebody else. You have the Knight of Cups here now. Some of you may, you know, this could be an apology or somebody coming back around who is still interested. There's definitely here do, somebody here doing some spying, okay? You have the Nine of Cups, right? Fell right with the Emperor, the Empress, the, Her the Hierophant, with the Nine of Cups here, okay? 
this is someone here I feel that sees you as happiness. Their higher self is telling them that, okay? It's almost like they're planning their next move um, and it's like they don't want to fail, okay? Now you have the Six of Pentacles here. This is someone here, um, like I said, they're, they're, they're exploring the possibilities here. They're kind of, you know, really trying to listen to their intuition. They're reflecting on this, right? They're reflecting here, right? Is this, you know, should I put my time and energy into this? And for some of you, like I said, this could be somebody you already know. For others, this is somebody new here. They're wondering if you're going to receive, right? If they put in, the, you know, if they make the initiative towards you, are you going to reciprocate as that's the energy there? You have the Five of Cups here, okay? And you have the Ten of Swords, okay? So I feel like you got somebody here who, um, like I said, they're a little bit insecure. They're going back and forth. Some of you, it's because this is somebody where you had... Uh, things may have ended here and I get the energy here that, that there's fear here I feel of being rejected okay but I feel like for some of you there could be another person here in the mix okay somebody new if, you, if you're dealing with a past person if not it's just a new person there's a message coming through I'm gonna pull one more Oh, we got two more. So you have the Ten of Wands and you have the Three of Pentacles. Okay. So whatever has been holding this person back, you know, whether it's fear of rejection, uh, whether, you know, they may feel that there is other people in their life, this person is going to take the initiative here, I feel, and reach out to you and connect with you. Let's see um, what's the challenge here in the situation. Okay, Seven of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, Chariot, and the Eight of Pentacles. Some of you, the challenge could be you could work with this person in some sort of way. That's not going to be for everybody. You have uh, the Seven of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Chariot. Okay, so some of you, this is somebody, you know, somebody kind of in hiding that you don't even know that they're interested all right, so that's the challenge there, right? Things aren't really taking off yet because this person hasn't approached you, but they will. Now, if this is not, um, if this is not, if this is somebody that you're dealing with from your past, uh, the challenge may be here that this is somebody who hasn't really expressed, um, you know, what they want. For the long term and and distance could even be a factor here so i feel uh, i feel their higher self is telling them that you are the one right that you are potentially somebody here they could be with the, for the long term but if you know this person uh the challenge is is that they haven't really uh, been clear with you right maybe what they want for the future or what they see for the future with you but i'm going to say their higher self tells you uh, or tells them that you are their ideal partner here. All right, what's the potential? What's the potential here in the situation for Aries? What's the potential? And then we'll get some guidance. Four of Pentacles. King of Swords. Six of Swords. Star card. Okay. Seven of Wands. All right. I feel there's a situation, this person's going to hold back a little bit longer, okay, to so that they can gain their clarity, so they can have their thinking cap on, uh, and then I feel like this person's going to approach you with communication. Six of Swords, like I said, for some of you, there could be some travel distance here, but this person is going to get past, you know, whatever it is here, their fear of rejection, their insecurity here, they're going to get past all that. And I feel that there's going to be communication. You have the star card here as well. Strong Aquarius. Okay. So this person's going to find their own inner peace here. And look what comes next, the eight of wands, which we saw earlier. So this person I do feel is coming towards you. And I'm just going to say the four of wands is below that as well. So upcoming here, there is potential, I feel, um, for a relationship. 
uh, long term here and I feel it's an energy right it's kind of just letting things fall into place here having hope being positive um, and I feel like uh, th it feels like this is a, a destined energy here okay especially with that Empress the um, Emperor and the Hierophant so let's get some um, guidance cards here Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What's the guidance here for Aries? Here and now, okay? So Aries, they're staying, stay in the here and now. Stay present. Um, really just enjoy what you have now in your life besides love, right? Instead of focusing your energy too much on the past or the future here, okay? Just being in the present. That's how you're really going to manifest uh, love in your life, all right? Let's see what else you have. Treasure Island, look at that. Abundance is on its way to you, right? You're going to manifest this by being in the here and the now, staying here in the present. Let's see what you got. Something really nice is coming towards you, or I should say someone here. Unto the sea, all right. So, let me see here. Why is to the sea here, please? Higher power. So your, your, your higher power here is telling you, and it's interesting because it fell right here on the Six of Swords, which is the same, um, well, this may be the Five of Cups, okay? Six of Swords here. I kind of see them the same energies, but... What I'm going to say here, there may have been some disappointments here in your past um, that may be affecting you now in your current situation with love. But I feel like what they're saying here is really, really connect here with your higher power, okay? Some of you, it may be prayer. Some of you, it may be meditation here to find your stability here within with your higher self and also with your higher power. I'm going to pull one more card. Building blocks. Yeah, focus on self, right? Find your own inner balance, your own strength here. Okay, so I feel like this is saying that you are definitely um, in a place where you are focusing on your own inner strength. Okay. And being the real you because you have all that glitters here. Okay. So taking the mask off, um, being true to yourself. I got some talkative birds outside. I don't know if you hear it. It kind of, uh, uh, I'm sorry, it sounds like a rubber duck squeaky toy, but it's not. It's birds. It's interesting. So anyway, Aries, I feel like this is about you building self. Now, for some of you, this may be a situation, uh, maybe you've, you felt like you couldn't find yourself or you wouldn't find yourself in this type of situation with somebody here. But I feel there's a greater purpose here um, between you and this person if this is somebody that you know. If this is somebody that's coming in for you, I feel this is really focusing on you, being true to yourself. All right, don't let your past disappointments hold you back. Um, I feel like you're going through a spiritual growth right now, okay? There's something very nice here that's coming in for you. So Aries, I hope this reading helped you. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.